Okay, covering more uh, about uh, the first fiber network conference, I'm here with Warren Maybe. He is a professor at Queen's University and he's with the NSERC Bioconversion Network. Now the word bioconversion, yes. what's the, the genesis um, of that and what does it mean for the NSERC Bioconversion Network? Well, the NSERC Bioconversion Network uh, really is about taking wood apart. So converting wood using biological techniques, uh, using enzymes, which are proteins, using yeasts, which are uh, organisms. So it's all biological. We're taking wood apart into its component polymers, you know, sugars, uh, longer sh chain sugars, things that are of relatively high value that have been locked away in the wood structure. And w where are you finding the value in, in that? <laughs> well, we started the bioconversion network uh, really to apply some of the, the techniques, the, the methodologies that had been developed by biofuel companies, okay. um, and, and particularly the corn to ethanol industry, which was using kind of a simple bioconversion mm -hmm. process to liberate sugar from starch. We wanted to liberate sugars and other chemicals from wood. It's a much more difficult task because wood is a structural uh, substance. Mm -hmm. You know, it's designed to be strong by nature, and therefore uh, it's taking quite a bit of work for us to fine tune the process and to start really pulling some of these more valuable chemicals out. Uh, but we are getting there now. And what could we potentially be doing with those? There are a number of applications, and we're really just starting to explore those now. Uh, certainly, there's the opportunity for fuels. Uh, biofuels are something that. Uh, have been written into policy, you know, so governments have asked for certain amounts of biofuel mm -hmm. and we of course are interested in ways that we can make biofuels out of wood. Uh, we have lots of wood in Canada, it's a mm -hmm. good opportunity, mm -hmm. but we're very mindful of the fact that fuels are maybe not the highest value product that's out there. Uh, there are uh, food additives and nutraceutical sorts of applications. Uh, I'm thinking of things like xylitol which goes in as an artificial sweetener. Mm -hmm. This is something that we can make from some woods, and so can we come up with a process to do that in a really economical fashion? Uh, we're looking at other sorts of platform chemicals mm -hmm. that could go into existing processes, existing products, but maybe make them greener, mm -hmm. you know, make them more renewable. And so that's kind of where we are right now. Bioconversion as well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, because all of this is uh, coming from wood, and our wood in Canada is grown in a sustainable fashion, harvested in a sustainable fashion. Uh, we don't have a lot of concerns about the sustainability or the renewability of our industry. Uh, we know that we are doing this as, as well as we can, and I think we're improving it all the time. Uh, what we're learning is how to make new products, value-added products, uh, that eventually can drive more value, more investment, uh, a more diverse Canadian forest sector. Great, great. And what about uh, influences with, with policy and government? Yeah, well, as I say, biofuels uh, really come about because of policy. Mm -hmm. you know, governments have decided that in order to deal with environmental impacts of petroleum fuels, in order to uh, diversify rural economies, in order to provide energy security, that biofuels is one of the options that we can pursue. And so there are mandates and incentives that are in policy to push biofuels. We would like to be making biofuels out of wood because then we're not using our food supply. Mm -hmm. We're not using mm -hmm. corn, we're not using wheat and things like that. Um, and eventually that would be a much more diverse and I think a much more sustainable approach to making fuels. But as I say, as we've applied these technologies, we're seeing the potential for other products and other ways to make value out of that wood out of that feedstock. And it sounds like you might be training, you know, some young students oh, yes. with some really interesting skill yes. base. Yes. Yeah, we have, uh, I think the number is about 50 plus um, what they call HQP, mm -hmm. highly qualified mm -hmm. personnel that are, are currently being trained and coming through our network. Uh, these are people that are going on to find positions in academia with industry. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of industry partners in the bioconversion network. Uh, and we've had a lot of active engagement from those partners, which is terrific. You know, we're learning a lot from them. I hope they're learning a lot from us. Um, and really, it's been a very positive experience. Great. Well, thanks for sharing uh, the news with the, from the Bioconversion Network. No problem. It's okay. my pleasure. Great. Thanks. Thank you.